thermionic emission is used in thermionic diode. Now, diode is an electronic component that used to uh, convert alternating currents to direct currents. Eh? Okay, because diode can only allow electrons to flow in one direction. Okay. okay, it can only allow electrons to flow in one direction. Eh? So, thermionic emissions can be used to build thermionic diode eh? because for this thermionic emissions, it can only allow electrons to flow in one direction. Okay, for example, well, let's see. Let's see this case. You see, uh, we have uh, two circuit here. One is a 6 watt direct current, uh, and then another one is a 400 watt, right? Okay. Now, this 6 watt direct current is used to heat the filament. Okay, it, it is used to heat the filaments. And after heating the filament, uh, suppose we have uh, this a piece of metal here, okay? So this filament will heat the metal, the metal will release electrons, okay? We have another circuit, okay? So this 400 volt circuit, uh, the negative, eh? the negative terminal is connected to the filament and the positive terminal is connected to another piece of metals called the anode. Uh, and the component that release the electron is called a cathode. Eh? So we have a cathode here and then we have A node here. So the, the cathode here will release electrons. The electron will be attracted to the A node eh? because the A node is positive. Because this is positive, eh? so therefore this is also positive. So the electron will be attracted to the positive, eh? positive uh, A nodes, and then the electron will go to the shell, okay? And then the electrons will move in a cycle. Keep on moving, eh? this complete the circle. Uh, so this complete the circuit, eh? okay? So uh, the, the, the diode will work well in this uh, situations. But if we reverse the cell here, we reverse the cell here, uh, let's say we connect the cell in this way. Okay, we put a positive here. Okay, we put a positive here and a negative here. Okay, now if you connect positive to the filament and the negative to this uh, A nodes, uh, the electrons cannot flow. The electron cannot flow. Why? Because, because you see, uh, the filament will release electrons, right? The filament will release electrons, or the filament will hit the metal, the metal will release electrons. Uh, but now, the filament become positive and uh, the metal here become negative. So when the electron release, uh, the electron le release, the electrons won't go to the, these metals. Okay, because this is negative, right? It will push the electron back. Yeah, so the electron release and come back, release and come back. Uh. So when the re electron release come back, then the, the electrons cannot flow. There's no electron flow in the circuit. Uh. So then so there's no current. So means that this design only allowed current move in one direction, right? The current can only move, or the electrons can only move here, okay? If you reverse the cell here, then the current cannot flow. And uh, that is the functions of a diode, right? That's the functions of a diode, uh, allow current to flow in one direction. So that is the one of the use of uh, thermionic emissions. Uh, it's used in uh, thermionic diode. It's used in thermionic diode. Diode is an electronic component that allow uh, current to flow in one direction. Um, but this is not uh, the major use of thermionic emission. You just need to know. You just need to know because in exam, sometimes they may ask you, okay, uh, they give you a, a list and then they, they ask you which of the following is the use of thermionic emissions. Okay, then you need to know that thermionic diode is one of the applications of thermionic emission. Eh? But th that is not the topic of discussions today. The, the topic of discussion is cathode ray. Eh? Cathode ray.